Okay, thanks for joining us, everybody. We are going to talk about the first round of Clean and Lean for 2018. Um, it's got a really good ring to it this year with the Clean and Lean in 18. Um, and this is the Love Your Gut Guide. We are going to go through this tonight and give you some visual, visuals on it, but I wanted you to know that there is a guide available um, that has all of the things that we're going to actually show some screenshots on so it's easier for you to see all your checkoff sheets we're going to talk about, your tracking sheets that you need are all in located in this booklet. And the place that you can get this booklet is, let me share a screen here and show you. If you go to the um, Facebook group and you click on um, files, over here on the left-hand side, you'll see a link for files. And then if you look at links for files, you'll see the... Um, there's some individual, like your weight loss tracking sheets, but also the Love Your Gut Clean and Lean book. It says September 17, but it is the same um, program. And then you can pull this up on your computer and print out your pages. You can print the whole thing out for yourself, or you can just print the ones that apply to what you want to be able to use. Um, at the very end of this, don't get too dizzy while I scroll, um, it has all of the pages that you're going to need for all of the weeks that is your tracking sheet. There's your tracking sheets you wanna to have to fill out that you wanna print for sure. And then it's got all of the tracking sheets that you need. So just wanted to make sure that you knew there was a place where you would be able to get this. And as Stan talks about what the program has that um, that was available to you beyond just watching it here on the video. So I'm excited to ask Stan to share um, a little bit tonight and talk about what the program is. I'm going to um, I'm going to bring his face up here and I'm going to get a PowerPoint and share that with you guys. Whoops. I'm clicking the wrong buttons. And I know I have a way to make this the slideshow. Okay. I'm getting help from Ina. There we go. All right. Can everybody see the Love Your Gut Clean and Lean slide on the screen? There may be a little bit of a delay here um, as it goes. And Stan, I'm going to give you, I think, you're not on my list of people. Okay, Stan, you're not on my list of people to be able to give the control to. That's okay. Do you have, do you have an iPad? I do. I'm not that on it right all right, then that's not what it is. All right, so I'm going to click the slides for you as you go. That sounds wonderful, Jackie. Hey. <laughs> okay. um, go ahead. Let me, I'm going to do one thing before you get to talk. I'm going to tell them a little bit about you that I think is super cool that I want people to know about. Um, and I'm trying to bring you up. There we go. So Stan, actually, um, a lot of you guys may know Stan or may not know what some of his background is. He actually has two degrees. One is in business management and the other one, um, is as a registered nurse. Um, he actually ran a massage therapy company for five years in Southwest Florida. And he's also run two branches of the nation's second largest home oxygen company in the Boston area. He's currently working a level one trauma hospital and heart and vascular cardiac intensive care unit. He specializes in heart failure and cardiac surgery. He's a dive master, master and a rescue diver. And so there's some really unique things from Stan that I really appreciate him taking the time and sharing this with us tonight and talking about Clean and Lean. Um, just in, sorry, Clean and Lean 2018. My slide says 17. We'll click right past it. And um, being able to talk to us about what the steps are in this program and just what he's done in his own health and then being able to share with us and uh, what we can move forward with. So thank you, Stan. Jackie, thank you so much. Those of you that's your first time seeing this or participating, I am so encouraged to have you guys as part of this. It is an exciting journey you're going to be part of. There's so much information that you'll be able to gain and learn. You've got a team of people that are here to work with you. And uh, we have a system that's proven and has proven itself. You'll hear a lot of great testimonials throughout the time frame here. And you'll have education as the weeks go on to participate in. So don't feel like anything's been missed or left out. You will be prepared for. Jackie, thank you so much for all your hard 
hard work. Jackie is, I always call Jackie like the Atlanta, Georgia of the flight hub. She basically made sure that everything runs smoothly, knows what's going on. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, you have a lot of great team members here. Jackie's definitely the smartest one out of the group, but a lot of great team members that can help us get us on the journey. So why in the world would we want to do clean and lean? Those of you, it's your first time on the call, first time doing Clean and Lean, realize that there are many of us have, this is our first time as well, and also many of us who have gone through this many times before. The stories you'll hear are inspiring, and also it's exciting to see it's not a yo-yo platform. This is not another diet. This is not something that you have to drink two shakes a day for the rest of your life. This isn't something that you've seen out there or heard out there. You have to eat these foods or those foods. What we're trying to do is create a, we've created a system that you can implement in your daily life with the system in, in, that we have in place already. So first off, what is this clean and lean guide that we have in front of us? We're going to go through the guide right now. It's going to be your 90 day go to. So for the next 90 days, you're going to have a step by step go to that teaches you and helps you go through the process. Can you get, can you get there, please? Uh, go through the process and also gives you uh, information to be able to reference to. Um, why love your gut is a question that a lot of people have asked over time. You know, why is it so important that we spend time on gut health? Uh, Jackie's an expert in gut health. She spent a lot of time around this, and I've got a chance to spend a lot of time around her and learn a great deal about why it's so important that we take care of our gut uh, so we can get away from the yo-yoing. It doesn't matter how thick you are, how thin you are, how tall you are, how short you are, how whatever your social status is, we all have the same challenges in different ways. Um, ladies, I'm going to pick on you for just a minute here, and, and uh, I hope you don't mind. You know, there's several research studies out there that show that the average woman, yes, ladies, I'm going to pick on you, hold on just for a minute, loses her body weight seven times in her lifetime. That's astounding. That means she's losing and gaining, losing and gaining all the time. We don't want that to happen anymore. We don't want that to happen to you. We don't want you to have to experience that anymore for those of you who have already experienced that. And everybody knows that somewhere around or after 40 years old, most people, they kind of give up hope on whether or not they'll ever have a chance to lose the weight they've gained over the last 20 or so years of their adult life. And you see, the problem is with that is that so many of us have lived with chronic conditions. We live with conditions that we've begun to settle for, the aches and pains, the extra weight, maybe the depression or the multiple diagnoses we've had from our primary care physician or specialist. And we somewhat live in that as a life sentence that we are stuck bearing the rest of our life. So what we have our hands on here is a proven system because there's fruit on the tree. Um, the stories you're going to hear over the next couple of weeks are going to astound you. It's going to encourage you. And it's also going to give you hope that, wow, you don't have to be this perfect person. You don't have to look this way. Some, some on, on board here just want to have great gut health and become the healthiest them they can be. Some want to lose weight and get to their optimum goal that, and fit into that outfit they always wanted to fit into from their high school days or whatnot. And also, there are some that want to reach the pinnacle of their training by gaining weight, adding muscle on board. So there are so many different areas that we're going to focus on. My personal story, real quick, um, Jackie shared a bit about my career. It's, that's part of it. And, and i tell you something. I don't know what I want to do when I grow up. So <laughs> I, I love to be able to give back. I work in critical medicine, so as you can imagine, the world of... Oh, just blood and guts, the whole drama. It's not like it's MASH 4077 for those of you who've been around for a while or ER or all those other shows, but it's an environment where we're dealing with issues that people have had over a long time that have brought them to where they are. And it's not a desirable place. I'm dealing with more 30 year olds now than I ever have that are having heart attacks. I'm dealing with 65, 90 year olds, 80 year olds, pick your age group, and multiple different diagnoses within that that have brought them to, in my world, some type of cardiac diagnosis where you know, we're coding people left and right on a daily basis. And why is the heart in such a big issue? Why is the gut such a big issue? And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that as the time goes on in our journey. I wanna introduce you to my family. We have had a lot of fun experiencing this, this platform. Um, I've done a ton of research out there. I, I've, I've seen a lot of stuff. I think a lot of us have as well. And what I've seen with this is we're seeing real live results in my home. We're seeing real live results with our kids. Mind you folks, yes, your kids are able to participate with us and you should do that. You really need to grab them and say, guys, I know I've taught you some bad things, um, over the years and what you should or shouldn't eat because I really didn't know but um, we're going to teach you some great things that you can do and I'm going to introduce you first to Jared. Jared jump over here. Jared is our nine-year-old. Hey buddy come on down. 
<laughs> the price is right, Bob Barker. Where is Bob Barker nowadays? But um, Jared is, um, how old are you, by the way? Nine. Nine, huh? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Oh, he always says nine and a half. I love it. Yes, I want to make sure that half is recognized. He is humongous. He is an excellent, real strong chap. He's He's um, uh, had a chance to participate in the last, last 90 day challenge. And um, he's done both the 90 day challenge and the gut health, which is of course linked together. And um, one of the things that you experienced, what was that buddy? Um, by um, like changing your habits and eating and not and, um, eating the right foods and not eating as much sweets and eating fruits and vegetables and protein. And did you like your checkoff sheets? Yeah, it made it a lot more simpler. Awesome, good job, buddy. Thanks for jumping in with us, very good. Garrett, come on over. Garrett's one of the twins. Garrett, Ethan, guys, jump up here. Um, Garrett's, uh, uh, how old are you, Garrett? Uh, I'm 11. 11, huh? Yeah. Wow. Um, Garrett, uh, how was your first experience? So Garrett and Ethan also jumped in with us, the whole family here, and he they did the first 90 day challenge as well. So what are some things that you experienced from that? Um, well, I have some skin, like I wouldn't call it, yeah, psoriasis, and um, from taking repair and pre and probiotic and all those um, powdery products, they have cleared up my most of my uh, psoriasis. So and, and mind you, that's only one 90 day challenge where he's experiencing a gut health change, a diet change, and now he's seeing a skin change or a skin benefit. Where most uh, we went to the um, dermatologist and they would say, Hey, uh, by the way, just put this cream on this. They want to put a band-aid on every problem, most, you know, most of our primaries. Um, so, so Garrett had some really good experience where it changed and he's actually almost fully cleared up and has only done it one time through the 90 day challenge. So congratulations, Garrett. That's awesome. Ethan, how about yourself, bud? Um, uh, the, it really helped me with my bowels and they've been going much smoother and um, I haven't been constipated as much as I used to. That's huge, buddy. It's no fun doing that. Ethan came up to me a while back and said, Daddy, you know what? I don't have to push anymore. And for me, that means a lot from a dad because you don't really know what's going on um, behind the scenes all the time. So a uh, great job, Ethan. No proud of you for doing that. Awesome. Great. Thank you guys for joining us. Mom's actually taking care of baby right now. Um, the little Wesley there is, I can hear him screaming in the background. So um, he's going to be uh, a little bit uh, to deal with. He's a six and a half month old little guy. So we're glad to have him. But as we move forward, the, the fill out your PhD, take a look in front of you and you're going to see a form called personal health design. So personal health design is an assessment tool that we have. Can I expand this, Jackie? Oh, I can do this. Wonderful. This is awesome. So it's a personal health design where it's not here to treat, mitigate, or diagnose anything, okay? What we've learned is we have, have seen a lot of fruit in the tree where we've seen a lot of people have great benefit by taking this personal test, assessing their health, and then from there, applying some of the things that we have to to um, allow them to be able to see the health benefits. And that's what we've seen right here in our home. Uh, on the top left-hand side, and those of you uh, that haven't seen this, take a close look, you'll have this in front of you. The top left hand side, you're going to see where it says zero, one, two, three, and it's going to go through zero where symptoms are not present. One, mild or sometimes, two, moderate or often, and three, severe and almost always. So the first section is on gastric reflux. See, gastric reflux, um, huge, huge issue in our industry. Um, currently in the US, uh, the acid reflux meds account for a $10 billion industry. So $10 billion is spent on acid reflux meds. Um, what we're trying to do in there is we're trying to reduce the proton pump inhibitors in your stomach and reduce the acid secretion that's causing this reflux that we think is causing the reflux. Instead of actually fixing the core problem, we're trying to help aid the body to fix itself in the core area. Uh, the next one is mood and sleep. And you're gonna go through each one of these folks and you're gonna see that, you know, do I have a sour taste in my mouth in the gastric reflux? Am I having regurgitating undigested food? Am I having a burning sensation? Am I having heartburn or burping or difficulty swallowing? Those are things that you, you may have one or two of these, or you may have many of those. Excuse me, one second. The next is um, um, mood and sleep. Uh, under the mood and sleep section, uh, you may say, oh, I feel that I'm a low or depressed mood. 
Um, I often feel irritable or grumpy. <laughs> I feel overwhelmed in life. I feel emotionally sensitive. There's a lot of things right there that we're seeing um, that we may not realize are you know, frontline for us, but they're real issues that we experience. And you're going to total those numbers up and put the subtotal on the bottom. Next in the top right is intestinal permeability or leaky gut syndrome. And um, that is humongous, folks. I mean, we had a big issue with that in our home. And um, leaky gut syndrome, you know, you're, we're going to talk more about that as time goes forward. But, um, you know, we have an issue where our food is starting to ferment, going into our bloodstream and causing us allergies and side effects that we're seeing. And one of the things we just talked about is psoriasis or eczema in our home. And we're seeing great benefit from the improvement of that, uh, just utilizing this platform. And then lastly, colon and large intestines, your microbiome. Thank you, Jared. See you, buddy. Um, it's, you know, do we have seasonal diarrhea or bladder or kidney infections, history of antibiotic use, which most of its society do, weight concerns. Um, America right now is the second most obese country in the world, second to Mexico. And we have had to change the scale so many times just to appropriate um, the obesity that we see. And it's in, most people say, oh my gosh, it's my problem, it's my fault. And we're in which case, no, 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 no. There's a lot of learning out there that we can do to help you along that journey. And then you'll total that total number up. And on the bottom right-hand side, you're going to see um, your total in all four sections, zero to 12, which is a low risk, 13 to 27, moderate, and 28 and higher, which gives you a high risk or high concern for a gut health issue. So clean and lean, what is it? Clean and lean, is a jump start to your health. It's a 90 day challenge. We know we can do 90 days. Why? Because within 30 days or 21 to 30 days, most of us create a habit. From that habit, we're able to apply that to our life. And then as if we stay the full 90 days, as we all have been doing and doing such a great job with, we realize that that habit is going to uh, stay in our life going forward. Most people um, have, uh, you're going to hear stories about, have done this over and over and over again throughout their life. They've done multiple 90 day challenges. Um, one specifically is an incredible story. Uh, and, and seeing a continued result on that journey as they go forward. So it's a lifestyle change. Um, and in the 90 day challenge, our last group, just in my family here, we have seen so many improvements in our health that are pretty basic improvements, such as creating habits, learning what to eat, what are portion control things that we, how do we need to watch portion control? What does our total body weight mean? What, what should we weigh actually? Um, what are some things we should look at? So we're gonna talk next about portion control. Oh, yes. Sorry, Jackie. Thank you. It's so funny not having control of the clicker. I appreciate you doing this. Um, choosing a kit. Um, we're going to talk to you about this a little bit later on. Real exciting. We've got some great deals right now that are going on. So keep, stay tuned on this. Make sure you finish this, this platform to see this whole thing through. And we're going to share with you a ton of great deals. So measuring and weighing yourself. So when you start off with measuring and weighing yourself, we want to make sure that you guys and all of us together see that we're going to start from ground zero. We're going to see where we're at. And if we don't measure and weigh ourselves, we won't have a track to go back and compare to. So many of us have been on this and that, and we say, oh, I felt better, I think I lost weight, but we didn't have true numbers. Numbers don't lie. So over the next 90 days, you're going to see your body transform, you're gonna lose inches, and you're not going to have to kill yourself to do it. You're going to enjoy the process and the journey of that. In weighing yourself, you're gonna weigh each part that's listed there on the list, on the, on the, on the um, slide. And one of the things that we've learned from weight, measuring yourself to make sure you're truly accurate, one little side note, is always measure from the ground up. So if you're gonna measure your lower thigh, measure from the ground up, remember that measurement, write it down of course in your sheets, we're gonna have some sheets for you, we'll show you in a little bit, and then measure your thigh in that area. Measure from the ground up again to your upper thigh, measure from the ground up to your hips, measure around your hips, write that number down, so that when you go back to measure yourself throughout the, the process of this journey, you'll be pretty accurate. Next slide, Jackie. Take a before and after photo. Now you see a little dog in the background of that lower one there. Don't worry, the dog's okay. But for gentlemen um, and ladies, uh, gentlemen, I would want to encourage you to have shorts on. Um, just shorts, no shirt on top, because you want to see how your improvement has been in your thighs and your abdomen, um, those problem areas that we tend to have guys in the front there in the stomach. And ladies, also, those pants are okay. Really would encourage you to have um, shorts, like a shorter short on. The, um, the, the sports bra is a good idea because you can see, you know, all the, um, the growth that you see or reduction you see over time or growth for those who are trying to put on muscle. So those are the ears. Make sure you've got a clean background, a clean area in the same location, and do not 
pull your gut in. Do not pull your gut in. Make sure you relax and are yourself. You're going to take the same picture at the end and you're going to relax as well because you really want to see the improvements you have. Jackie, I'm going to spend this one back to you in getting social. Um, it's, a, it's really, really important that we stay accountable with this. But Jackie, I'd love to actually uh, send this one back to you. So the cool thing about getting social in this program and some of the perks that come with this, because there's incentives for us to do um, the, be able to share this. And this may be something that maybe you have a Facebook page or an Instagram account or um, some sort of social media platform that you can be able to share this with and start to, um, there's a couple of reasons that it gets great to be able to get social with it. One is it gives you a benchmark for yourself. It helps you see, hey, you can look back and say, this is where I started. This is where I was at from the beginning. And then you're able to even just look back on your own results and success as you go forward. Helps you to keep yourself accountable and, and to keep yourself motivated to keep going forward and not just give up. But there's also a lot of different, There's we're going to share here in a few minutes about some of the bigger prizes for the every quarter that we do this. There's a first, second, and third prize winner that gets some really great stuff. But along the way, there are weekly winners. So that comes from the things that you do that help keep you accountable to this. So some of that is maybe what you share, some examples here. Maybe you just share, you know, some people get really brave and share a before picture of themselves. Um, Ina, who's sitting here next to me, has done that um, several different times and shown, and she's actually been able to show her progression each time, um, going, going and hitting her goals. Um, some people aren't comfortable with that. So maybe you just share about, hey, I've had a month, no fast food begins today. Keep an eye on me. Help me stay accountable. Um, maybe it's the, my diet soda addiction it ends now. 30 days, no soda. Wish me luck. Um, 30 days of clean and lean to lose 16 pounds. Maybe throw out what your goal is. Um, and you just, you don't know what's going to come from that. I know <clears throat> this next, this coming month, February 13th, is one year for me of no coffee. Um, doesn't mean I've had no caffeine zero, but I haven't had coffee which was something that I was drinking too much of and it dehydrates you anyway. So being able to share things like that, share your story, and then send your photos and your sheets in, like Dan's going to talk about in a minute, to have a say, allows them to pick a weekly winner and they give away great products and prizes and stuff weekly that they pick random people from. So um, and you get some perks and prizes from it as well. Awesome, Jackie. Thank you so much. It's incredible. Keeping accountability is humongous in, in our journey of life. And the exciting part of what we have is there's, there's a tribe that we're part of, individuals that we'll see on a regular basis every week that we're participating with and are along the same journey with us. And we're going to go through a couple of things next on um, the process and the journey of exactly what it means to go through um, this, this, whole, this whole clean and lean. Uh, so a lot of diets restrict um, restrict you on cal calorie counting, uh, weighing your food, uh, what you can and cannot eat. Of course, we have to follow some of those things, but um, we don't want you out there counting calories. We want you eyeballing your food. We want you to be able to take a look at something and know after this, after this 90 days what exactly uh, uh, a, a, a portion of this or that is. We wanna know that you have the ability to recognize that pretty quickly with just eyeballing it. You know, a serving of vegetables right here, two fists, a serving of fruit right here, one fist, a serving of protein right here, the palm of your hand, a uh, serving of fats. Now fats are a little different, but thumb size, you know, so these are simple things that you can do and say, hey, I know that's about a portion for me. Uh, instead of, oh, I, I think this is a portion. No, 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 I know that's a portion. You're, on, the, on, on our checkoff list, we're going to go through the, right now, you're going to see the basic um, uh, standard format of what we follow to make sure we get ourselves into a habit forming practice. Number one, water. American Heart Association talks about eight, eight ounce glasses per day. So what does that mean for my weight? I'm, say I'm 200 pounds approximately. I need 100 ounces of water or here, drink half your body weight in ounces or 88 ounce glasses a day. Um, some people tell me, oh, Stan, I, I can't stand a water. I, I, I just, I've been drinking soda and fruit juice and all this for so long. Don't worry about it. We have Activate. You can add that into your water. Uh, it's healthy. You're not going to um, cause yourself problems by adding extra heavy sugars in your water. Um, it's a super fruit and huge Fused uh, weight loss support drink. It's a mix that you put in there. It's a real tear it, pour it in your mix. It's really, really good. It tastes phenomenal. Boosts your energy as well. Um, has a, a couple of different flavors and gives you immune strength, which is humongous. We all need a lot more immune strength and helps fat fighting in your everyday program. 
Next is fruits and vegetables. Oh, I love this. Um, we, have a re we have an increase in vegetable consumption in our family now that we've gone through the first 90 days. So this challenge is going to be really increasing our vegetables and also increasing our healthy fats. So what's your vegetable size right here? Put your two fists together. That's a vegetable size. We need to basically have more vegetables than we do fruits, healthier sugars and so forth. So your vegetable size is here and our fruit size is here. So um, uh, you can add it into a shake in the morning time. So many say, oh, I just can't. Well, you can put vegetables and fruits together in a shake in the morning time, add in our daily indulge protein shake to be able to give you the extra protein for a boost to start your day off. And you can pack in a ton of vegetables and a ton of fruits, which covers a lot of your servings for the day in a very short amount of time in the morning time if you want to do a shake with that or a smoothie. Healthy fats, wow. Healthy fats for our family was a great challenge. Um, getting used to eating healthy fats, cooking with healthy fats, um, taking them in, trying to fit them into our, into our lifestyle prior to this was quite challenging. And now we're so excited because it's become a new norm for us. Now, mind you, um, it's a journey. So we are going to have the three checkoffs, three servings of healthy fats per day. And this journey we've seen in the beginning of the process, excuse me, <laughs> beginning of this process, we started off with very few check marks in the healthy fats boxes because we had to think, oh my goodness, how do we, what do we, what is a healthy fat? But then you'll see on our, on our Facebook pages, all the recipes, the educational information, it's astounding. And we began to learn, oh my goodness, Avocado oil, avocados, coconut oil, which we have a ton in the house now, um, olive oil, utilizing that, olives, um, nut butters. Um, these are all options for healthy fats. There's so many options out there that we weren't even aware of that were quickly accessible that we could use and add into our, our diet. I don't know why the chicken's there, everybody. I'll just stop right there. But <laughs> protein, three servings of protein per day. There's so many different ways we can get protein. Most of us know the macro proteins. Got your red meat, your chicken, your turkey, your fish, your eggs, your tofu, and your beans. We'll leave tofu out for a minute. But the idea is this. It's the size of your palm. So if you think, okay, the size of our palm. And guys, it doesn't mean it's this thick. Okay, it's the size of our palm here, right? So the size of your palm is the amount of protein three times a day you'd want to take in. Um, there are many different ways of getting that in. We have a meal uh, replacement, which has about 14 grams without the, if you add milk to it, of course, or some type of product that has protein in it, um, it can bring up your protein count pretty well and give you a full replacement. Oftentimes when I'm out and about and I can't get a full meal and I'm not easily accessible to me, I don't want to go ahead and choose to eat something unhealthy. So for two bucks and change, I go ahead and actually get myself a shake, my own shake that I know is healthy. And uh, I know that it's going to provide me exactly the nutrients my body needs. So I grab a quick shake, shake it up and down that. And that gives me about four to six hours of full energy. I'm full. Um, I can eat a decent amount, not huge, but decent amount. And I'm full for about solid four hours afterwards where I'm not feeling as though I have this rise, which most food and, and diets uh, or intake causes you and a crash. I don't crash. I kind of rise up and I stay along and then slowly taper down. So that's encouraging. Next is reduce. Um, reduce is uh, probably one of my absolute favorites because it helps to prepare you. Now, it helps to prepare you before you eat. So, um, what is in reduce? There's a ton of things in reduce that help to get you there. You know, theobroma cocoa, um, cocoa cacao, cocoa, chocolate, you do the math. You know, chocolate gives us that euphoric fairing. It's great, you know, you take it 30 minutes before your meal. It has um, potato protein extract to, to give you that full feeling before you eat so you're not eating as much, especially those of us who are really out of sync with portion control. It helps to get you back on sync in the direction of getting your mind to learn the new habits of portion control. Uh, as, like I said, you take it 30 minutes before your meal, gives you a boost of energy without the caffeine, by the way, huge deal. And it makes you full, full, feel fuller before you eat. Um, there are some of us actually in the group who take this um, just before we go do a workout. Take a couple of these before a workout. It helps to add energy and build muscle. So it's, it's appropriate for different things there. But the one point I want to bring up with this, which is it's humongous in the nutrition market, is blood sugar control, the management of blood sugar and how your body balances off the tolerance is of sugar. 
Uh, diabetes is, is, is rampant. I have more type two diabetics as patients that are coming in with cardiac issues than I can even, I, I, I can't even tell you how many. Um, every single cardiac surgery patient we take care of in the hospital, I am, I am putting them on an insulin drip, whether they're diabetic or not, because we know that if your blood sugars are not managed properly, you don't heal. Um, so you know, remember that's so, so important for our lifestyle. Digest well. Jackie, I'm going to have you jump on that one if you wouldn't mind. Absolutely. So digest well is a digestive enzyme. This is something that you take um, three times a day before your meal. Um, unlike the reduce, you don't have to take it in advance of. You can take it with your meal. Um, <clears throat> has three different flavors in the bottle. Um, and you just, the, the one thing that's really cool about digest well being a chewable is that that digestive process, your digestive enzymes that work in your body, one of them is amylase that uh, begins in your saliva. So being a chewable and having a digestive enzyme that you're taking, you're actually starting with the process right at the beginning of the process as you take that and it begins to start in the mouth and in the saliva. So that's one of the great benefits of our digest well and what it does for you. But if you can imagine with me, um, I won't make you close your eyes and imagine this, but just imagine that you got, oh, let's say back in the day before you were clean and lean, you went to McDonald's and you got yourself a, you know, a, a meal and you had the that together and maybe you were not ready to eat it right then so you stuck it in a plastic bag and put it in your car and maybe it's summertime and 80 degrees outside and you know it just kind of sits there and you forget about it and then you go grab it and it literally would like have a heartbeat of its own right if you can imagine that you would have that food that just kind of would rot and and just kind of pulse on you it's so bad yes. <laughs> all of the gases that come from that the bag would blow all that kind of stuff right so if you imagine that's what happens in our bodies when we don't eat the right food that goes into our bodies and that's happening inside and that's where we're having all different kinds of issues have come up, gases come up, bloating, um, acid reflux, all sorts of things like that that start to happen. And when you take a digestive enzyme, you're helping that not to happen. So um, just being able to take that food and have it break down so that we can pull the nutrients from it that we need to um, it will help to do that. So if you're deficient in the enzyme lipase in your body, you can't dissolve or absorb fat efficiently, digest well will help with that. Um, it helps to build up the fat that lines your thighs and your bellies and your arteries, helps, to, helps in that buildup and not, that not happening. It increases your digestive function. It has a rapid release delivery, like I said, where it starts as a chewable right in the mouth and the saliva as you drink it. And it's got that... Um, you boost that nutrient absorption that you're able to get. So that's the, the three times a day and um, with a meal. And then the pre plus probiotic, I'm just going to go forward on these next two, Stan. Um, pre plus probiotic. So there's a lot of different probiotics that are out there on the market. One of the things that is great about this particular Pixie, first of all, it's a Pixie. So you're not taking a pill, um, which it actually, there's 15 times more effective benefit of being able to take this in this form than your standard capsules that are out there on the market. Um, it's got five different strains in it. It's got um, two strains of prebiotic in it. What prebiotic does for you is it's how it is fiber for the probiotic. So we all have good bugs and bad bugs in our system. And the goal is to make sure that there is enough good bugs that outnumber the bad bugs. And being able to put that, the good probiotics, so we've got good microbiome going on in our system, prebiotic will help to feed that as we put that in. So our PrePlus Pro, Pro is made with 40 billion units per pixie stick. And it is a guarantee arrive alive because of the delivery system we have for it. It's a microbac technology that is a delivery system that what happens, you've got a, a live thing happening that as soon as it hits your saliva, it can start to break down depending on what one you're taking. Ours is designed so that it's not going to start breaking down until it actually gets through your system into your gut. So we have a 100% arrive alive guarantee of 20 billion per pixie stick. So with that symbiotic blend, like I was talking about, now you've got two prebiotics along with the five probiotic strain. What happens is you get five times more colonization what that means is essentially about 20 minutes after you've consumed that pixie stick, it's going to have colonized those 20 billion to 100 billion for you. So if you've got, you know, ever had to take an antibiotic 
Antibiotic is not picky. It doesn't go around and say, oh, you're a good guy. I'm going to leave you and just go after the bad guys. It goes after all of them. So being able to take a probiotic to be able to replenish your system. Um, there was a 12-week weight loss study that probiotic users lost double the pounds. Um, it also helps with less of the intestinal bacteria that's related to um, obesity by the end of the 12 weeks. So people are really seeing a big difference um, with the probiotic and so many different reasons and things and, and what that relates to and how that helps with our health. So the pixie sticks come in a, um, a pineapple orange flavor and super good. You just rip open the pixie and put that on your tongue and swallow it. You can um, put it in anything cold. You can't heat it but you can put it in anything cold. You don't have to keep it in the refrigerator, which is great. Um, and you take one of those a day. And here's the thing with the probiotic, you can take that anytime during the day. Morning is a really great time to take it first thing in the morning. You don't wanna take it with, uh, with the digest well, because the enzyme that's in the digest well, one of the enzymes in there, can break down the probiotic covering. So you want to make sure that you're putting some, like if you're going to take a digest well, have a meal, then take your Pixie. Or take your Pixie first thing in the morning before you get up, before you get into um, having your breakfast and, and taking that. So that's how you would consume that one. And then the last one is the Repair Plus. So this is a pretty awesome product. Um, Repair Plus, it is the one that most people um, see a result in weight loss from this. And they'll usually, the first week they try repair, they will see a five to 10 pound weight loss happen. The cool thing is it doesn't happen because of, um, because you're all of a sudden running to the bathroom all the time. It happens um, because it's just doing what its job is. And there's something called leaky gut that Stan mentioned here a few minutes ago. Leaky gut is when you're, your cellular junctions, those, those tight cellular junctions it talked about are no longer tight. If you can imagine having your fingers, if you put all your fingers together and all those tight junctions being together, but if you open your fingers up and you can start to get through that, that's what, if you think of that as your gut wall, when those fingers are open and things can get through it, that gets through to your bloodstream if you look at that from, from your gut wall. And when things get into our bloodstream that are not meant to be there, our body looks at it and says, wait, that's wrong. That's not supposed to be there. Let's go attack it. Let's and then you start to have issues that people have, which then leads into um, leaky gut, which has all sorts of different allergy issues and people having immune issues, people having autoimmune diseases, people with IBS and Crohn's and all sorts of things start to break down. So repair is meant to go in there and help to repair your system. It assists with your digestive health, it assists with regularity, um, helps with the gut function, it also helps with the microbiome development, um, helps cardiovascular help, it helps your immune system, just so many different things. And you just actually, this is also a packet that you rip open and put in about eight ounces of water. You can you can kind of find your flavor with Repair. It has like a, it's a lemon lime that kind of tastes like an herbal tea. Um, you can take this hot if you choose to. Um, you can put it in eight ounces of water or you can put it in with um, more water than that as you find your flavor with it. It is something that when you take it, you do want to take more water. So it's great. A lot of people talk about taking lemon water in the morning. Repair is something you can do in place of that that will give you even more support with the glutamine in it, the fibers that are in it. But because it's got fiber in it, it's great for your body to actually add more water and consume some of your water that you do for the day after you take the repair. So um, that's what that one is about. Thank you so much, Jackie, for sharing that. And I'll tell you something, I've had some great success. We've had so much great success in the whole platform, but Repair is really, really, and Premium Probiotic has done such a good job for me and my children. Um, they have seen great results, like you said, in a really short amount of time. Next on the protocol, uh, no soda, no candy, no white rice, and no white flour. We want to stay away from the refined sugars. Refined sugars, um, you know, I used to teach years ago nutrition. We always joke about bagels, and, and I see so many of my patients would come in and say, hey, you know, I had a bagel today, and I'm thinking, oh, no, why'd you have that bagel? Well, I don't want to totally front on bagel businesses because I, they all need to make a living, but, you know, bagels have, what, six to seven servings of carbohydrates in one sitting. Uh, I used to joke and say, hey, just have a donut instead. It'll give you, you'll, you'll burn it off before you finish, leave the donut shop, and, and it's kind of true in a way. I don't encourage donuts, but we want to choose our foods and begin the 
process of replacing the things that we're used to eating with healthy substitutes. And we're going to talk a lot about that through this journey. You're going to have so much information to go from. But we also want to make sure that you begin to kind of pr prepare your home in a way over the next week or so where you're adding in substitutes. If you do add sweets into your drinks, your teas, your coffees, and so forth, bring in your honeys, bring in your stevias, bring in the maple syrups, and have them available so that you can make those substitutions so you don't feel like you're losing out. We don't want you to feel as though you're losing in any way, shape, or form. That's why we're not a diet in any way. Um, uh, we also want you guys to have a plus, plus three points. You'll see the check marks at the bottom there. This gives you an extra three points on your points um, just to say, hey, listen, I actually won today. I really had a good, good experience. Real quick story. Uh, Garrett, one of the twins, came up to me the other day, and he said, Daddy, you know, I'm, I'm feeling kind of scratchy in my throat. I, I don't feel – I feel kind of, I don't know, under the weather. And I thought, oh, really, Garrett? And he said, yeah, Daddy, I, you know, I, I look back at my sheets, you know, and I fill those sheets out, and – I noticed I, I didn't check off the no sugar, no sweets there for the last four or five days. And I know that's why I'm not feeling great. And I said, oh, really, Garrett? That's, that's, that's amazing, buddy. What are your thoughts on that? He says, well, I'm not doing sweets anymore. This is ridiculous. I want to be healthy. So <laughs> it was really encouraging to see him kind of own that himself. So I encourage you guys to walk along that journey with us. Physical activity. Now, physical activity, for those of you who hate to sweat or don't want to sweat or don't have time to sweat, don't feel bad, okay? There are so many of us that are with that, on that journey with you and trying to experience that. And what I've learned over time is that when you get into working out and exercising, the, the process becomes more and more fun. You, you, you get a chance to get around people in this group and this, this tribe that you're involved with who help you along the way to encourage you uh, on options. What's available to you outside of running on treadmill for 50 minutes? This is so unrealistic for most people. Um, we have a lot of great information that we're going to share with you. And we also have some exciting energy things to do with that. So most of us might say, oh, I just don't feel enough energy when I get out there. Well, we have the first, in, in my opinion, the best ever created energy drink. Um, it's called Torch Natural Energy. And it's a great pre-workout pick-me-up. And you, you just, you can drink that with your workout. It doesn't give you that super, super duper high and then a crash afterwards. That gives you that nice steady up. It maintains you and slowly, slowly, slowly drops on afterwards. We do a lot of things in the home. You know, my boys do basketball. They do weight training three times a week. And I tell you, if you have stairs in your house, do the stairs five times, real slow in the beginning. Make sure that your decisions are, take this journey and say, I'm going to start doing exercise 30 minutes a day. That's all it is. And I'll do 10 in the morning, 10 in the afternoon, and 10 at night maybe. Morning time when you wake up, lunch break, and then nighttime. Fit it in whatever you can. We'll, we'll actually share a lot more about that going forward. Eating clean and lean, love your gut. Um, on the left-hand side, we talked about a love your gut guide and what the guide is. It is a step-by-step, -step, totally drawn-out process for you to be able to engage in this journey and have all the answers you need. Um, on a weekly basis, you'll be filling out your checklists, which are in the center there. These checklists are habit-forming daily activities. What are we trying to do? We're trying to form daily habits. If we can form daily habits, we can change old habits, and we can become the people we'd like to become. Uh, in, in the center there, you'll see at the top the water. You have the eight, eight ounce glasses of water. Down below that, your vegetables, then your fruits, then your proteins, then your healthy fats, and and your in your your brands, you're actually taking in your digest wells and your pre and probiotic to really give your gut the necessary nutrients it needs to be able to heal your body. And then below that, your no candies, no sweets, your exercise. And then you'll total up those numbers every day. And throughout the week, you'll get a grand total at the end. When you get that grand total, we'll go ahead and actually have you guys email that into us at myavisayjourney at avisay.com. So it's my avisay journey at avisay.com, which is in your Love Your Gut Guide. It'll give you some information on that. And then you'll also be doing your measurements. So I know on the right-hand side, we talk about the 14 and 30-day health progress report. We want you to see how you do in the first 14 days. We have had so many stories in 30 days of people losing 10, 15, 20 pounds of, of, of body weight. Um, because they were able to jumpstart their body in the right direction and their body had the nutrients and the, the products that needed to be able to heal itself. <clears throat> so on the right-hand side, you see the 14-day challenge. You'll fill that out, but, but 
You'll also have a form, real simple form, which is where you take that before and after picture. It'll give you your measurements. You're gonna take your weight. So first off, you take your weight on the beginning, you weigh yourself every week, and you'll do your measurements. So Jackie's holding that up in the bottom right-hand side of your screen. I'm not sure if your screen is the same thing. And you can see the measurements there. So you're gonna take your weight every week, mind you, make sure it's the same scale and you're wearing the same whatever. <laughs> and uh, and take, your, take your weight and you'll see as the weeks go on, you'll hit that humongous drop and then you'll see a plateau maybe a little bit and you'll see that steady decline where your weight's going down. Or for those of you who are trying to gain weight, you'll see your body break those plateaus of putting on muscle because you're starting to do the things you need to do to become as healthy as you possibly can be. And again, the two forms you're gonna send in every week. Number one, the love your gut clean and lean checklist. And the second one is the guy that Jackie just showed you a moment ago with your weights and your measurements. So we want to see how you're doing. And next, Jackie's going to share about how we can win big. Winning big is crucial, folks. You're going to do this for a reason because we want you to be able to create great habits. But why not win big in the, in the, on the journey? Awesome. Thank you. Um, so <clears throat> I'm... We're going to look at a picture of Stan while I do that. Hold on a second. I'm trying to mess with my screen. There we go. So um, step seven is win big. This is super fun part of the um, challenge because there are um, three, pri three winners, three grand prize winners each time. Hold on a second. I'm monkeying with my Zoom, guys, and trying to get what I want. There. Now I got what I want. Um, so there's three grand prize winners <clears throat> each, uh, each round. So this round, there'll be three new ones. They just had the three people that won in the October to December round. We had a cumulatively, they lost 140 pounds. Um, I know Brenda's on this call. She had her first round of clean and lean here. This last round lost 21 pounds. Woohoo. Way to go, Brenda. Um, but also Rich and Sue are on this call and Rich, um, has lost, he actually won the first, very first clean and lean, lean round. And he is right around 60 pounds that he's lost. He turned 60, lost 60 pounds, and he has gained some weight, but it is because he has been able to gain muscle. Um, and Rich went through a stroke, went through a motorcycle accident, um, was super unhealthy, and has been able to be, feel healthier now at 60 than he did at 40. And so it's really super exciting to see that, you know, you can take a program like this and it just becomes a lifestyle, which is why it's not a diet. So those winners, the first prize winner, um, that winner is not necessarily based on it's the person who lost the most weight. It's the it's it's a combination of things that they look at. What's your story? What's your experience been? So it really just behooves everyone. Um, it's just as much up there for Freddie, um, who's on this call to win, who is looking to gain muscle and has six pack goals um, that she's working on strongly, um, as it is for myself looking to lose weight in pounds and inches. Um, so it's really available to everyone, and the consistency is what helps you win this program. Being consistent in what you're doing as far as your tracker sheets and what you're sending in in your tracker sheets, what you're sharing with your, your story, even in what you're able to share um, socially and what you're able to share about your journey socially, whether that's with pictures or not. Um, and make sure that you're consistently sending in the, the, photo, the beginning photo, the end photo, the weekly checklist, and all of that to the My Avisay Journey at avisay.com that Stan was mentioning. And then that turns into, for the first prize winner, $500 cash, an Apple Watch, and a bunch of free product. For the second prize winner, it's $200 cash, an Apple Watch, and a bunch of product. And for the third place winner, it is an Apple Watch and a bunch of products. So pretty exciting um, things, plus the weekly ones that I was talking about. So let me just go back to step two um, and just talk about, for those of you that don't have some of the items that we talked about tonight that are on the checkoff sheet, there is a really great deal going on this month through the 31st where you can save $120. So let me just talk about that. The Love Your Gut Protocol Kit it actually comes with a extra repair in it. You get a bonus in your first kit um, where you would get the repair plus we talked about, the pre plus plo, the reduce, and the digest well. All four of those items are on your checkoff sheet. So they would add to the things that you're able to do to bring success to you and your program. Um, you get a bonus of two things we didn't even talk about tonight with the bliss adaptogen mist, um, which is actually super important in your gut health in that it helps to balance out your hormones for someone like me, um, for being at a weight that I've been at for 
before I started using the gut health and working the clean and lean program, I would really get stuck um, at plateaus and not be able to push through those. And well, part of why that happens is if you're at a certain weight for just so long, your body thinks it's normal. So it almost works against you and what you're trying to do to get th through the system. And when you start putting a gut health protocol, including something like bliss, it, bliss actually helps the body say, hey, wait a minute, this that I thought was normal isn't normal because it works with your dopamine, it works with your serotonin and helping to balance that. It helps with your mood, it helps with your sleep, which is an important, important part of um, being able to be healthy and, and part of your success goals. Um, so it has a big um, benefit. And Calm is an essential oil that also has some great benefits uh, with it as well that both come in that kit. So that kit would normally be $248, um, but through January 1st, Avise is offering a $199 kit. It's a $71 savings. If you were to buy this same kit at retail, um, the $199 is being able to buy it at wholesale. Plus at $199, you're going to get free shipping because any order over $80 is free shipping. And you're going to get your $49 wholesale membership waived. So between the $71 because you're purchasing at a wholesale price as a blue member versus purchasing at the retail price as an insider, plus the membership fee waived, that's $120 savings. So if this is something that interests you from clean and lean, it interests you from gut health, maybe just alone, um, this is a great month to take advantage of that system where you can uh, get your blue membership, which is essentially same thing as having a membership at Costco where you're able to get a wholesale account with Avise and get the wholesale price every month going forward, you'd be able to purchase, let's say you were interested in that um, indulge uh, daily protein mix that Stan was talking about. That would be something you'd be able to get at wholesale because you're able to take advantage of this deal and be at a blue membership price. So we just wanted to share that with you. Um, that's actually through January 31st and then February 1st is when we start. So you wanna make sure as Stan said, that you're getting your before photo in and your um, original tracker sheet in by the 1st of February to that email address. Um, as I shared with you earlier, you can download that uh, from the files in the Facebook group. So if you need any help, certainly reach out to, to somebody in this call that's been using the program. Um, there's lots of people here who've used it successfully and um, would be really happy to be able to answer your questions. Um, let me bring this back here. And uh, we just really appreciate you guys being on the call and uh, joining us starting next Sunday night. Um, we will be doing a weekly Zoom call that you can join in. One of the things we found last um, time as a team was that it really helped us that being able to meet together regularly and being able to see each other and being able to have, um, like we do here tonight, the Brady Bunch screen um, of everybody being able to see each other, encourage and hear what the victories are each month, being able to get tips and um, tricks from each other. And then each week, we're going to talk about different things that people are looking for. Maybe it's a week that we talk about and teach on portion control. Maybe it's a week that we talk about, you know, what is a healthy fat and how do you, what is, why is that important and sharing that. Maybe a week that we talk about budget. Um, and how you can eat clean on a budget and not feel like you have this more expensive um, and be able to dispel the myth that it's more expensive to eat clean uh, than it is to be able to, um, that some people think it's more expensive. So um, just a lot of different topics, topics on exercise and things that we do together. So every Sunday night at nine, we meet together and do a check-in um, because usually the next day that Monday is when we go to being able to send in the sheets. It's a great reminder for all of us to say, hey, did you get your sheets done? Are you, you know, on track with everything? Got everything filled out? Did you do your way in and, um, and go forward from there? So um, I hope that that is helpful. We'd love to have you join us. Excited to have you with us on this journey going forward. And there's still time here at Sunday night. We start February 1st. Share this with your friends. Invite them to join us. Um, you know, certainly ask questions if you have and want more information. And we'd be love to be able to help you guys. So.